Good evening, strangers. Fancy seeing you all here. Are you well? It's only been, well, what, an hour and 15 minutes since I last seen you with Debbie on Crafters TV. But here we go. We are live. We are live where we're going to open door number 10, not number 8 that it says in the description. The joys of copy and paste, and I forgot to change the 8 to 10. Um, yes, I hope you are well. So many of you tuning in on this Friday evening. We've got Karen is saying hello again, Craig. Hello to you too. Um, excuse me while I mute you for a second because I'm away to ask a certain device to turn down and I don't want all of your devices to go. There we go. Wasn't quite on Christmas music either, so I changed it there. But if I had, um, well, yeah, let's just say. If I hadn't mute myself, all of you that I've got that certain A-E, A-L-E-X-A -E device, it would have all set them off, so apologies. Uh, right, who else have we got? We've got Lillian is saying, hello, Craig. Hi, Lillian. It was a really good question you asked earlier on on uh, Crafters. TV. Was that today or was that the other day when I was on? You asked a question. Oh my God, how bad's that? They all go into one. Um, I don't know that you said about the item before behind door number ten, so I knew that's going to be a good one. Sam McDonald saying hi, Craig, and everyone on this cold and frosty evening. Ten, evening ten, evening ten, evening in Darlington. It is Baltic. Not in here. I'm actually quite warm, hence why I've got just a normal t-shirt on but it is very cold. Sarah's saying, hi, Craig, how are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Cindy's saying, hi, Craig, Merry Christmas from Oklahoma. Good evening to you too. Is my screen a bit blurry, is it? There we go, it's a bit better. We've also, we've got Laura saying, hi, Craig from Virginia. Jackie Owens is saying, hi, Craig and friends. Hope everyone had a good day. We all did, thank you very much. It was a lovely, lovely day. Beth and on Facebook saying good evening Craig and Crafty friends from a cold Cheshire. Diane Schofield saying hi Craig and Crafty peeps. We've got Heather is on YouTube and saying hi from a cold Northumberland and a hello chatters. Well hello to you too. Anna saying good evening Craig looking forward to your demo. Hopefully you like it. I think you will. Going down the simpler route tonight going to a simple way after yesterday's was a little bit more detailed but of course don't get me started on uh, door number nine gate that was just a disaster trying to do that video yesterday but we got there in the end although it was a shortened version yesterday yeah friday Diane and Beth and they're all chatting away to each other. Angela saying hi Craig from Chile, Birmingham. Tucked up in bed with a hot chocolate. Can't wait to see tonight's demos. Well, I've got hot diluting juice within my cup here. Just turn it around so you can see my Christmas cheer. We've also got Janet saying hi Craig from Pennsylvania. Um, no, not Pennsylvania, PA. Oh, it's eluded me. It'll come to me. Printer's making a funny noise. Cindy saying, hi, Heather and Laura. I may not be long. That is no problem at all. It's lovely to see you popping in. Susanna saying, hello, from a cold and snowy Sweden. Oh, I bet that is cold. Lovely to see you popping up from Sweden. We've got Cindy. We've got uh, Debbie saying, I loved yesterday's shipment, mate. Hopefully more can be short. Hopefully more can be short and sweet. Uh, not when it comes to the advent calendars. No, the purpose of the advent calendars is to get proper lengthy demos using the items behind the door. So short and sweet demos isn't the concept of what I do with the advent lives. Uh, but you never know in future, I might do short and sweet videos. Diana is saying, hi Craig from, Mount from the mountains of East Tennessee, ooh, way up in the mountains. Victoria saying hello all. Louise Cole, hi everyone. Debbie saying my message should have said, loved yesterday's week, short and sweet, nothing about shipment. Yeah, I, I did wonder on that, but that's no problem at all. I thought I'll read it anyway, Debbie. 
Linda, Suzanne, Nanette is on. Good afternoon. Looking forward to today's opening. Lynn Blackledge is saying, need to catch up on door eight and nine. I have been quite poorly, but I can go back to the replay. Thank you, Craig. You're very welcome. Um, uh, what was I about to say there? Lynn, need to catch up. I... Sorry to hear you've been under the weather. I'm glad you are back up and running, feeling a little bit better and on the mend. So hopefully that continues. Um, Debbie, I hope all the future Advent broad broadcasts can be as to the point sweet like yesterday's. Um, once again, Debbie, no, that's not the point of these ones. These ones are, I do them myself, off my own back in my own time they're not about short and sweet they're about you getting fully lengthy demos we chat away it's not a video form live it's so we can chat away we can interact with each other we can then uh, answer questions if need be but in that time period still do a demo where we focus on that project so when it comes to the advent calendars no they won't be short and sweet yesterday's was only that way because i just had a nightmare of filming so it's nice to know you like that style but for the advent calendar lives they won't be short and sweet going forward Debbie, oh I just read that, oh Debbie's has come up again there. Jennifer Dawn Smith saying, watched Home Alone 2 in Craig's Honour, I haven't seen it, just caught it on TV, love it, love that game on Player Crafts right today, my absolute favourites of all time. We have got, uh, Victoria says, it says 10 on my YouTube, hmm. Strange, because it come up on my phone to say Craig Lair's going live. said, come and join me to open door number eight. And yet I can't see... Because hmm. when I pop the info in, it sends to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Anyway, hey-ho, we're here, aren't we? We're here, right open door number ten. Mary is saying, hello, Samson. We've got... Um, Tatiana say, oh, you're speaking away to Army Bet Navy. Marion saying, hi, Craig. Alison is saying, hello, from Brooklyn, New York, getting ready to drive, drop my mum to a wedding and kids. And while I wait for her to be done, we will go and have Dave and Buster's. Oh, a video game place. Mm. Suzanne is also from a cold Sweden. Thank you so, so much. Andy's saying, happy Saturday, Christmas, Craigie. Any idea what the new... Any idea what the new colour Gemini on Hobby Maker is next week? I, hand on heart, did not know there was another one on Hobby Maker next week. That is completely new to me. Hmm, I'm there on Monday. But I didn't know anything about a new Gemini colour on Hobby Maker. Wonder if Debbie Fisher will know. Hmm. Dessert Dweller, hello from Arizona. So appreciate you doing these demos. So much fun for me to follow it along. Good. Glad to hear. Gemma is saying, hi Craig. Hoping you can bring us some cheer after lose. I uh, did England lose, did they? Just as we finished craft along, um, the guys got themselves sorted and uh, got what they were needing to do for tomorrow. And then before I went home, they were sitting watching the rest. And I did see it when England scored. Uh, Johnny was pacing up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down when they were ready to go for free kick, penalties, whatever it is. So they were really excited. But when I came in, the football was on. And had seen that we were 2-1 two, two, them, whoever the other team was. Um, so, yeah. Oh, well. Let's try and do some crafty fun. Karen Wells saying, yesterday's make was absolutely stunning. Oh, thank you. I, I'm annoyed that I had to do it in a simpler form. But I'd spent that long doing the video for me not to have hit unmute and I wanted to do it again I just was running out of time so that's why I shortened it down but uh, I'm glad that you liked it 
really glad. Um, Jeffrey saying, I and oh, Peggy, I've just hit your comment now. Uh, hi, Craig from Texas. Been loving your creation from the Advent calendar. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, Jeffrey, I enjoyed yesterday's. Uh, made both of them many thanks. You're very welcome. Gilmore, hi, Craig. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. Do not worry. Think I must have missed door number nine. Can't find it on Facebook. Uh, so I wasn't live yesterday. It's a video. So um, I could only post the video on YouTube. Facebook was just playing up yesterday and it wouldn't let me post it on Facebook. So there's a picture of what I made. This one. So if you go on to, if you're wanting to see via my YouTube, my Facebook, you will have to watch on YouTube. But on my Facebook, there's a picture of this card and then I've added a link to my YouTube. So you'll just need to click on that and watch the video on my YouTube. But yeah, there was no live yesterday. Right, let's dive in and see. Crafts and bargains. Hey Craig, love your creative crafts. I was wondering if you've seen your YouTube twin, Chad Custom Creations. No, I've not. No. We cannot see you on Facebook. Oh, well, I think you can now. Yeah, mine's come up on Facebook. Let me just double check while I'm here and then we can crack on. Well, I think the new colour machine is purple. Honestly, that's completely new to me. I didn't know that. Did not know that. Tony Marie saying, I prefer wrestling than football. I left my parents' house before it started. That's me as well. Yep, that is me as well. Uh, let me just check. Yep, we're up on up on YouTube and Facebook. Right, yo. Let's dive in and let's actually let's move it that way so that I'm facing you when I look at it, not the other way. Brandon, I'm so thankful that you are doing these. The time you spend is awesome. I love spending the time with you all as well, crafting and chatting away. Jackie, evening, Craig and friends. Hope if everyone has had a good day. Well, I have anyway. I hope you all have as well. Right, door number 10. Let me get myself comfy. So door number 10. I do know, as we know by now, what is underneath said door. So I'm going to go in and let's dive in now. Bonnie, good afternoon. I'm a little late, but here now, so happy you're here on YouTube. It's so much easier to use. Good, I'm glad. That's what I've been hearing from so, so, so many of you that you prefer it's on YouTube now, which is good to hear. All that time and effort and stress trying to get YouTube up and running for the last few months has paid off. Right, number 10 of our calendar, we are, here we are here. Now, if you did see towards the end of Craft Along with myself and Debbie, you'll have heard me tell you what it is. Because this is, for me, going to be staying out on my craft desk quite a lot, because it's going to be so handy. And we have got two and a half by two and a half woodwork embossing folder. I just think this is so, so handy. It's so useful. It's so versatile. Whether you're using it with nature, whether you're using it with florals, whether you're using it with foliage. Maybe you want to use it for a male theme card, which is actually what we're going to do. So, Two and a half by two and a half. So it is a 2D embossing folder when it comes to the size of it. But as you can see, it does have the woodwork, which is brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go in with an ivory card black that I've got here. 
Now you could use any ivory card and trim it down. It is DL size, slimline size, but I'm going to come in and you know what I'm like with my card blanks by now. I do like to trim them. So for this one, I'm going to trim it to eight inches. And then what I'm going to do is I would, because it's just over the four inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. So I would usually trim it to the four. So therefore it's exactly four by eight. But I'm keeping it at the eight inches. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to come down. I think I'll come down to the three and a half. Might... I might go three, but for the time being, let's keep it at three and a half. A uh, few people are saying it is freezing tonight, as in Facebook's freezing, not that it's cold freezing, which it is. Uh, Facebook's freezing, so we seem to have been doing good the last few nights when I've been live. So all that I would suggest is, I'm not sure if it's YouTube as well or just Facebook. We were finding previous that either dot in and dot back out, that helps some people, or after about 5-10 minutes it kind of settled down. So it was settling on Facebook. So it's the case of if you can persevere until it settles down, I would really, really appreciate it. Or you can pop across onto YouTube. Hopefully YouTube is okay tonight as well. But yeah, we have been finding that it does it does ease after about five, ten minutes. So it is something that we're we're kind of all aware we're all aware of now, aren't we? That it does that. So it does settle down. So please, please just bear with if you possibly can. So let's go in. So I've got my card blank, like I say, it's eight inches and at the moment it's three and a half. Might go three, but at the moment it's three and a half. And then what I'm going to do is let's go in. I'm going to go in with my white multi-purpose card. And I'm going to bring in later on, I'm going to bring in from our Eclipse stamp and die range. I'm going to go in with this alphabet. Just to say as well, I did see someone saying something there. Um, yes, I've, I've popped a garland at the back of me and I've put one there as well. I've decided I'm not putting any lights or that outside this year. I'm just uh, keeping it all inside because, well, I'll go home to Scotland in less than two weeks. And I'm on uh, Crafters TV quite a lot, so I'm not going to be in to look outside and enjoy it as much so I thought well I'll tell you what instead of doing that this year I'll put the they're, they're new it's not as if I had them out last year that are new I thought look nice decorating the lights are battery operated so it's fine on the electric so that is uh, yeah that's me got the garlands so yeah so I thought what we could do is we could keep it as a simple dad card so what I'm going to do is um, I would say D-A-D -D. and I won't necessarily use the embossed design the two and a half by two and a half I'll trim it down so I can get a perfect fit of three of the embossed detail so what I am going to do is let's come in with my guillotine so I'm going to I'm going to cut at the moment anyway I'm going to cut three squares to two and a half by two and a half. So all the way along. Two and a half by two and a half. So I've got the three of them. So let's bring this one in. So what we can then do, Maxine, the embossing folder would look very, very good with the stamping foam. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it out on itself at the moment. So I just want to check the sizes. Now that would work, but what I am going to do is I am going to go in and I'm just going to make them a wee bit smaller. So I'm actually going to come in and I do little 
little and often. So I'm going to go two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So all the way around, because although the embossing folder is two and a half by two and a half, you don't necessarily have to use that full square size. So there you go. So we've got these ones here. So what we can do is bring these ones in here. Now, these won't be white because we're going to colour them just shortly. But this at least gives me an idea. A little bit of nice spacing all the way around. So we can have D, we can have A and we can have D. So it's going to be uh, nice. And what you'll find is I'm going to combine it with some browns. And I think brown works well with ivory or cream. It does work with a white card blank. But I do think it looks better with ivory. Hence why I am um, using an ivory card blank. So I can move my card blank out of the way for now. And then what I'm going to do, if we've got time at the end, we might run this through with our heat tool and our foam. But what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to run it through. I'm, you can do a letter press technique if you want, because it is a 2D folder. I'm not going to. What I am going to do is I'm just going to run it through as it is. So let's take my mini, which is here. So I'm going to go in. And you can have it at jaunty angles if you want to. But I do want to try and keep it quite square. Just because I'm pernickety like that. And then what I'm going to do, if I've got a wee bit somewhere. Just looking for a bit of scratch. So I've got... A bit of scrap card here, a bit of scrap craft card. So it's about 280 GSM. It's just to add an additional shim. Because with the 2D embossing folder, you will need your purple shim. But to enhance that emboss just a little bit more, I'm going to add an additional shim in. And then run it through. And then we will be left with the most fab emboss detail when it comes to the wood grain so I'm going to do that again for all three of them so pop that one on pop that one on and pop that one on here so running it through so let me scroll out just a little bit more for you so then that gives us our second one and then I'm going to do exactly the same when it comes to the third one. And pop it onto my purple shim. Pop it onto my additional little card shim on the top. So let's move that one out of the way. So we can move that all out the way. Uh, someone sees, oh, right enough. I do see a bird in the folder. Yeah, I do. Just down in there. I do see that bird as well. A few of you seeing it. Ah, see the thing, the things that you see. And then what I'll do as well, because so many are commenting, which I really, really appreciate it. If you're, if you're not aware, just in case you wonder, um, if I'm going through comments and when you start to comment, the, the annoying thing with what I use here is it pushes all the comments. So I've, I'm looking for the one that said a moment ago that appreciated the little tip about the ivory card. Seeing if I can find it. I'm sure it'll come up just shortly. I will. Once we have inked what we're going to do, what I'll do is I will sit it against a white card blank compared to an ivory card blank. So you're going to absolutely see the difference. Oh, Caitlin's just popped on. Evening, everyone. Hey, Craig. Ah, oh, hey, Caitlin. Uh, hi there. I'm in Alexandria. It's already 
for Craft Door 10 and wishing for some snow here. Well, I think we're going to get it shortly. Alex, I think the new machine is actually a cricket. Now, I know there's, I know Hobby Maker are getting cricket this week. Actually, because Caitlin works on our social, I wonder if Caitlin knows about a, a colour Gemini on Hobby Maker this week. Because I don't. Maybe she won't either. Unless people are getting mixed up with the cricket. Anyway. We'll soon see. But yeah. So yeah, I'll uh, compare them with ivory card and then white card. So let's go in. And I want to get some ink. So let's go and help if we actually had a screen on here. So I'm going to go in for some water reactive. So what I'm then going to do. So I'm going to go in with my Fryer Brown. And I need a blending pad. And then what I'm going to do. Is pop. On, don't, honestly, Caitlin, don't worry. Don't go into any trouble. It's just... Um, apparently there's maybe a colour... Gemini. A new colour on Hobby Maker, which I'm not aware of. So I was just curious myself. But yeah, don't go in, into any trouble. I'll find out on Monday when I'm there. So let's go in. Fryer Brown Water Reactive Ink Pad. And then what I'm going to do... Is I'm just going to ink it. So I'm going to add my ink all the way around. And then I'm going to go in. And then just add in that ink. What I'm also going to do just in a moment. I'll be careful not to bend the edges. Because it's water reactive. I don't want to really get my fingerprints on it. So I'm just going to hold a bit of card. And then add in that colour on. So I'm not really worried about or concerned about colours and different bit. I really want to just get the colour down on this card. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to do another technique to add the colour. Rachel B, love the idea of keeping the blending sponge under the ink. Yes, that's what I do with all my water reactives, Rachel. So all my water reactive, I bought, I think it was about three refill packs of their blending foam. And then just with some of the uh, rough hook and loop, I put a bit on the bottom. And then each of them's got their own little pad. It sits there all the time on the trays. And then I just take it off when I need it. So that's what I do with my water reactive. So once again, I'm just wanting to add the colour on here. So we're going to lay it down. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same here. Getting that colour in. So if I go in, adding it on. So we're just adding it, getting a nice coverage. Let's go on. And because I just want it on, I'm not necessarily blending it on. All that I'm doing is getting that colour straight on. So let's move that one there. And then what I'm going to do Let's do the same with this one. So let's go on into here. And this was white multi-purpose card that I was using. So we're going to go on with this one. Get that multi-purpose on. We'll get that colour on the multi-purpose. Just so we can build it up. And you can, if you want, go in with some different shades of your brown. No, that's absolutely fine, Caitlin. Thank you for uh, having a double check. I'll uh, if en if anyone knows, if anyone knows, Debbie Fisher might know. So I'll speak to her tomorrow and just see. I'm wondering 
if I was about to say, I was wondering if there's maybe a little bit of confusion, but Diane, if you're saying it did say there was a purple Gemini being released, I, mm, I'm I'm not sure. I, I'm really not sure. You've stumped me on that one. That's one that you've stumped me on. So uh, we will see. We'll see what happens. But there we go. So adding my ink on that we can see here. And then what I'm going to do is keeping it flat. Let's just turn it around so you can actually see what I'm away to do. What I'm going to do, keeping it flat, still going in with the Fryar Brown. And I'm keeping it flat. And then I'm going to rub that one over. So then what happens is we've got the brown, Fryar Brown, blended on the back. And then what we've got is we've got that intense Fryar Brown picking up all that detail. Love doing that. Absolutely love doing that. So let's do it again. And you can see what we're going to do and what we'll, you can use other ones if you wanted to I'm going to go in and I'm just going to move to the side slightly you're going to see how you're going to get more of a darker tone like so which you know you can do I'm not actually a big fan of that just looks like black so we'll do another one in a moment let me just clean all that off just now so let's go in you could get a different look by using tan or light brown cardstock maybe another level absolutely yeah but you've already got that level and that color of brown there you're just going to enhance it so yeah by all means try that now what I'm going to do here, this one is the first one that I've done. Now I'm just going to be careful because I kind of bent the edges. So what I'm going to do, once again, I'm going to go in from the Fryar brow. And then what we're going to do is once again, I'm just going to sit it flat on top. And I'm going to work my way around. So keep it flat. Work it all the way around. What we could actually do as well, uh, Sandra, is in a moment, because I'll cut another one, because I don't like that one. So I'll cut another one to do a third one again. And then what I'll do is let's do it in craft as well to show you. So that's two that we've got here. So let's bring in my guillotine again. And let's bring in my craft card. So that was two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And let's go in with a piece of craft just to show you how that would look on the craft card. So what we can then do is take all that. Let's bring in our mini again. So let's go in with our white and close it. What we can do is then pop our plastic shim and then let's go in with an extra little shim like I've done with the other. So that shim is just a piece of craft card. Celtic flower, I've been amazed at how nice and embossed you get with the mini. I've been using the Mistletoe folder to make tags and emboss letters. It really is awesome, isn't it? That crisp, clear, white emboss that you get really is exceptional. So let's do that with a craft card. Move that one in. And let's just pop that one through again. Now it's craft that I'm using, but it could just be a piece of white multi-purpose or black as an extra shim, that's up to you. So even on the craft, you get a lovely effect that you can see here. Now, with the emboss, white emboss, let's do what I've done with the other two. And that is 
add the ink on. And once again, all that I'm wanting to do for that base level is get the ink on into place. So let's go in to here. So adding it on, no specific way just to get a layer of ink. And then keeping it flat, what we can then do, keep it flat and then roll back and forwards. Roll back and forwards, making sure that we're picking up that emboss design. So then that's me got my three of them that we can see here. What I'm then going to do and then going to come in, take these ones here. Uh, Sarah Craig, does the embossing folder last forever? Or is it like the Gemini plates where you have on to it. replace them? Okay, I found this on the web for Craig to... Don't know what, that was a strange one. My Siri on my phone just started to go off there. That was bizarre. Um, so yeah, so your folder for your mini, you will over time have to replace them, but cut onto all four sides, that's going to prolong it. So just flip and rotate it every time. And if you're good at doing that, they will last a reasonable amount of time. But at some point you will need to reuse them either because they'll totally banana or the hinges will have been used that much that sometimes they'll just tear away and you'll need to replace them. If you don't, if that happens, if your hinge breaks and you don't happen to have any other ones, you can still use them together. You just don't have that hinge feature, but you just make sure that you still just layer one on one side and then close it. So if that does happen to you, don't worry, you can still use them. You just can't use that hinge feature. But at some point, yeah, you will need to replace them. So let's go back in. So this time, I'm not going to go in with a craft card and ink it up. I'm going to go in and then add in. It's saying Sarah sounds like, ah, S-I-R-I. -I. That'll be what it is then. It must be. So yeah, there we go. Doing that on the craft card. So that is the white card, inking it up with Friar Brown running over the top. And then this one is just inking over the top that you can see here. So yeah, it does look good on the craft card, but let's move that out of the way. Now that I'm finished for that for the moment, just put my pad back on and then it can go in my tray. So let's move that out of the way. Let's get a white for now that I can clean this up and usually with that being water reactive ink on my glass mat I would use it to do backgrounds and not waste it but for the sake of the live I will do so let's go in I'm just going to give this a quick clean first before we can go in and do a bit of die cutting with um, the letters so let's go in now. So I've gone in. So these came out as part of the Eclipse stamp and die set. But I use these as standalone alphabets. I love these ones. So let's go in. So let's take the... I've got the D and then I've got the A. So let's try... Let's see what it would look like and craft first. So craft on here. So let's bring them ones into play just now. So I'll do the D and the A and then we'll need to do another D. So let's run this one through. I am going to do a drop shadow with an excess piece of ivory card. Come in with this one. They are an awesome size, aren't they? They really are. So there's D. And we'll 
go for A, but as you can see at the moment, it kind of blends in to the back. So let's run that one in. Feed that one through. Now let's take this one. Let's pop that one there. So if I sit them there, but as you can see, they kind of fall into the design, into the back. So I'm going to go in with a piece of ivory card that I had. Um, what am I doing? Let's take the A and the D. Let's pop this one on. And then don't forget, you can also emboss your die cut alphabets and numbers. As long as it fits on the folder, you can emboss it. So we might do that to have a look. So let's take the D. Let's go in with the A. Let's pop that on. Betty finally made it to one live. Oh, it's lovely to see popping up. So let's take for holidays designs hygiene. I am dragging all of you around on the phone while I do house chores. <laughs> I love that. Isn't technology just amazing nowadays, isn't it? As to what we can do. It really, really is. So let's run that one through. And then what we can do. Oh, gosh, I don't want to lose that one. Have I found it? Yeah, got it. There we go. Wait, you see, this is when I'll come across that Gemini mini alphabet, the Y. Right, let's take that one. So take that one off. Let's pop out the D. I'm going to take that one there. Thank you, Mary. It's looking effective, isn't it? Um, let's pop that one back. So let's bring this one back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the craft on the top and then have the drop shadow with the ivory. And then if I do that now, it will be straight, but if I do that now, you'll see the difference. Oh, go the right way, Craig. You'll see the difference than if I didn't have that drop shadow. So I'm going to do that. And then just so that you can see... You know, you can still go in and emboss your die cuts or whatever you've got. You can emboss it. There's my shim. There's my additional little add-on shim. Let's take that one. And then you've got I know it's harder to see. I'm not going to ink this, although you could do. But I'm not going to, in actual fact. I'm not going to use that. It's just to show that you could, if you wanted to, you could emboss your die cut letters. So let's go in here. So we can take... Ah, Jean. Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike indeed. So you can see that. And obviously it will depend, Gene, on what part of the folder you're going to use. But there you go. So that's that. That's that. So let's move that one, that one. And then we can pop and create a drop shadow. So that's that. I'm going to go in now with my tacky glue. So let me get it out of the way here. Let's move this one in. So going in with the actual um, 
tacky glue with the craft on the top. So there we go. And it would still work if you'd done it with the ivory on the top or cream on the top. But I do like that craft first. So drop shadow that you can see really works a treat. So let's take this one. And keep in mind, you can still do, you know, if it's a larger name, because you could just chop your embossed detail, your embossed background down a bit smaller. So the smaller they are, the more that you're going to get in a line. So you can absolutely do that. So let's go in. Just a wet tacky glue on the back. So let's go add that. Do that drop shadow. Press that one there. And then we can do the same. Last but by no means least. We're going to go in. Did that move? There we go, that's better. Kind of move slightly. Let's go in with the D. Let's add that on. So take this one. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add that to there. And I'm gonna add that to the side. Press that in, and then there we go. Uh, sorry, Craig, what was the nozzle on that glue, please? So, we do one the set. This is just Sticks 2's glue, but we have a small, small glue applicator. We do them on our website, and it looks pretty much the same thing. So, um, yeah, it's just a small, small glue applicator you can find on the website and it just goes on here or you just pop your tacky glue in it inside it the letters are 1.4 inches by 1.3 so just checking the height yeah 1.4 so hopefully that helps so there is my alphabet so i've got my dad and i've done my background so what I'm going to do is take my card blank that I have chopped down. So I've chopped it down to eight by three and a half. So what we can then do is if I set that in so that you can see here, like so, what I am going to do, as you probably guessed it, we're going to see what it looks like when it's flat and layered on a bit of craft card. So if I bring that one, so what did I cut that one to? Two and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is that was two and a quarter, but I want a really fine mat and layer. So it was two and a quarter, so I'm going to go at two and a half. Actually, that's not even straight. There we go. Two and a half by two and a half. So we can see that's it there, but I want that fine. And I might not necessarily use this matting layer. I'm just going to try it while I'm here to see if it's going to work to break it up. So we've got that little fine matting layer here. Let's see what that would look like. Yeah, yep, I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll do another, just checking the size. So that was just after two and a quarter. So let's chop that one. Let's chop that one. And then let's chop that one. And move all that to the side. Let's bring this one in. So what I'll do is... Let's open it up. So we'll have one. Let's go two. 
and then let's go three. I'm going to keep it at three and a half in depth. So you can see that's how it's starting to come along. But equally, what you can then do is you could still, actually, let's just flip it around. There's nothing stopping you from doing it vertical or horizontal. You can see like that. So you can go in whichever way. Let's turn it that way. You've got there. And then what you can still also do is you don't necessarily have to go in the middle. You know, you could come maybe up to the top or maybe you want to come down to the bottom right. So you can have a good play to see what you want, where you want it, how it's going to look. I am though going to turn it back the way it was. And what I'll do is I'll grab a white card blank just to show you how it'll still work on white, but with the brown and that craft look, it does, um, it does suit ivory or cream better. And that, that could be Centura Pearl or it doesn't have to be like a smooth, but it does work better. So I've got a white card blank. What I will do for the sake of this demo, I'll chop it down to the size that I've done the ivory one. So let's go. So I'm just going to neaten that edge. Three and a half. And then what I'm going to do is let's go down to eight inches. Maybe with a ho ho ho. Yeah, that would look really good. That would look really, really good, wouldn't it? So what we can then do, let's take, so as I say, white card blank, you can still do, and it still works, and it still looks nice, but for me, I just like my browns. In comments here. I just like my browns against the ivory or the cream. So there we go. So let's move that out the way. What GSM is best for making your own card? Sarah, it would be a, uh, say 300 GSM. So between 280, 320, be absolutely perfect. So let's go in now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tacky glue for this. So let's add my tacky glue onto there. And let's go in and add that on. To press that into place. And let's hold that in. Like so do the other ones because the alphabet the dad the letters i am going to trim a few foam pads and lift it up lift them up because you do have a bit of space to pop foam pads to the back so let's add that one on and then this last one and I'm just adding tacky glue because we've gone over the cardstock with water-based ink because it softens the fibre slightly. I'm going to go in and add that one there. Barbara's saying, so what was in the door? I'm not sure if you're meaning about today's door number 10 if you are then it was a two and a half by two and a half inch embossing folder so let's move that out of the way let's come in with these ones here position them where you want so I'm kind of going to flip them on themselves so they are kind of like different angles so let's go in with the D the A and the D and 
let's have a look. That smaller foam pads, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is add these ones on. Popping them ones on. So these ones I'm using size wise are just your traditional 5mm by 5mm. So let's add that on. What we can then do is add another one. So let's work our way down. Let's add them and I will trim a couple. You can use your glue gel if you want to. And let's go into here. And then let's come in with the D once again. Adding that one there. Yeah, rustic Christmas card. With a ho, ho, ho. That would look really fab. Wouldn't it? Really, really fab. Uh, Barbara, thanks. That's what I was asking because I arrived late. Perfect. Glad I managed to double check for you. So what I've got is all of these now. Now, once again, what I am going to do is I'm going to go in. So if I take the backing off. Now, because that is water reactive ink and it's not fully dried yet. If I stick my foam pads on there, probably after about a few minutes, it'll probably fall off because it'll be too damp for the foam pads. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take all the backing off first and then when I go to pop these on in place, I'm going to add a little bit of tacky glue onto the back of the foam pads and that is so that it dries into the foam pad and dries into the cardstock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that into the position that I want. And then once again, I'm going to go in with some tacky glue. Work my way around. Pop that into position. So I line them up to start with where I want them to roughly be. And then what I'll do is I'll start on the left, I'll do the right. And then that gives me a perfect position as to where to pop the middle one. And then if you need to as well, if you just want to make sure that you are fully lined up. So what I'm going to do lining up with my glass mat making sure that i'm nice i'm aligned which i am so let's come in pop that one on into there and then i can come in with my middle one so let's do that on into here and in actual fact i'm going to turn it so that they're all the same way around just because I prefer that look. So there we go. Oh, I've given that a little bit of a smudge. Let's move that back. There we go. So I've got that into the position that I need. And then I'm going to come in. So let's go in with the dad. So I'm just going to do a couple of dots. And then I'm going to go into the centre, press that in, so that initial tack from the foam pad will grab and then your tacky glue will dry in and then of course it will set rock hard. So let's pop that one on into place and then last but by no means least can do dot 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 and then we can pop that one into place and then we've got a very simple but effective card 
for your dad or granddad or okay if it was granddad or something you'd need to make it a lot smaller but you get the gist let's just give it a really good burnish once again if you want to add any additional little details you can do by all means you absolutely can do but then there we go we've got dad so that was from door number 10 which was our two and a half by two and a half embossing folder so i chopped it down to two by two and a quarter by two and a quarter our white multi-purpose ran it through inked it with fry our brown and then sat it on my glass mat turned my ink pad on the top and just let it glide over the top to pick up the detail i'd done that three times matte and layered onto craft card and then with the sentiment, the dad, what I've done is I've then cut that out. Craft card and ivory card. And the ivory card blank, I cut down to three and a half inches by eight inches. And then we've got a lovely little card that you can see there. And then if you wanted to, to simply finish off the inserts. What did I say? Three and a half. So let's say three by seven and a half and this one can be three and a quarter by seven and three quarters that can then go nicely into place let's just take my double sided tape for this and then this will be where you can write your message. You can stamp your sentiment if you want to. So let's go in. And then what it also does is it stabilizes that back layer. Because you've got all the mats and layers on the front layer. But only that one layer of your card blank. So I'm going in. Layering it up into position here do the same let's take that off bring it in and then there we go as you can see the insert i would still do on ivory you can do fight again if you wanted to but there we go a little inside really really simple tonight but effective dad card you maybe want to ink the edges if you want maybe add a few petals or something maybe a couple of bumblebees or something entirely up to you but there you go hope you like that one as well tonight so let's turn it around that way for you to see so there we go turn it that way there you go get it the right way craig dad really nice card even if i do say so myself uh, thank you everyone such lovely messages and comments which is so so nice um i do go back and read or try it while i'm demoing i'm watching them and seeing if there's anything specific that needs answered or that Grace, I like that. Grace M, so snazzy looking. It's snazzy looking, isn't it? Mary, awesome card. Excellent. Tatiana, it's a cute... It is cute, Craig. It's making a dad card. We watch Army-Navy games together every year. Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. Nice wee card to make. Loving it. Jessica saying, love the cream drop. Shadow, it does work. It really is worthwhile. For the next couple of minutes it takes to do it. Really is worthwhile. We've got Len. Also, uh, Sandra, is the alphabet still available? I would doubt it on our website. Whether you have a look at any of the others like Amazon and what have you. Uh, I may be wrong. I wouldn't have thought they would be on our website. But you can have a look if you so wish. It is just Eclipse Alphabet. The code for the website 
is actually let's let's zoom it in just if you're wanting to have a wee look so you'll see it I'll just hold it there just for a few seconds or two so where it says G E M M D E X P E C A L there you go so that's the code but you can just put eclipse alphabet and uh, see if you can find them once again thank you so much really glad that you enjoyed that one I, I will uh, take a picture as always pop it up onto my page as well uh, we will be live tomorrow night as well for door number 11 tomorrow crafters tv all day with debbie once again i'm on the demonstration side tomorrow which will be lovely and then we will do live once again same time 9 15 4 15 eastern time 1 15 pacific time we'll open door number 11 and see what we can create with it and then monday will be a video i filmed yesterday i filmed monday's video yesterday um really like this one as well really like this one so that'll go out on monday morning just to let you know so i will see you either on crafters tv if not then i'll see you back here live again tomorrow night slash afternoon we will see what we can open and create with door number 11 of our advent calendar have a lovely rest of the evening and a lovely rest of the day wherever you are across the globe we'll see you tomorrow bye